We can't sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hainam Pavana Sapakten. Close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths, and try to stay with each breath as it comes in, as it goes out. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it feels heavy or burdensome, you can shorten it, make it lighter, shorter. Try to find whatever rhythm and texture for the breathing feels good right now, so that your mind can stay solidly right here, not leaning to the left or the right, forward or back. You're right here, solidly based, with a sense of balance. This sense of balance is really important, because as we go through our lives, we tend to lean in one direction or another. We lean towards the things we like, we lean to away from things we hate. Sometimes the mind gets knocked out of balance, knocked out of alignment by things it's deluded about or things it's afraid of. So we have to be very careful that we don't let our mind fall into these ways. And when the Buddha says that one of the forms of protection, one of the mangalas that he chanted, talked about in the Mangala Sutta, is practicing the Dharma. It means not just following in line with what the Dharma says, but making your mind in line with the Dharma too. That's how you protect yourself, because the ways that people break the precepts, the ways they forget to be generous. The ways they forget to meditate is because they're usually under the influence of what are called the, the four akati, or the four biases. In other words, you're biased in some things but in the, because you like them. You're biased against others because you hate them. Sometimes you act under bias because you're deluded. You don't know what's going on. And sometimes you're afraid, and this, this especially with the precepts. You're afraid that you won't get enough money. You're afraid that you're going to lose the advantage from what, this way or that way, lose out on something you would like to get. And that fear is what drives people to do all kinds of unskillful things, break the precepts very easily, and come up with all kinds of justifications. So you have to watch out for that. The fear then leads to delusion, then delusion makes everything dark. You don't know what's right, what's wrong. And all you have to go by is your, your fears and your likes and your dislikes. Well, the Dharma gives you a measuring stick against which you can measure your attitudes. Okay, you look at the precepts, and they're meant to be held across the board. As for generosity, you look at your opportunities to be generous. If you're not being generous, why? Sometimes if you don't really have enough, okay, that's a good reason not to share. But as the Buddha said, if you had one last meal, and if you realize the benefits of generosity, you'd even share that last meal before you would eat it. A group of Jains once accused him and the monks of oppressing people. It was during a famine, and the monks were still going out for alms. And the Jains said, how can you oppress people asking for alms? The Buddha said, one, we're not asking, and two, we're giving them the opportunity. And he says, I can think back 84,000 aeons, and I can't see anybody who's been harmed by being generous. So even when it's difficult, you have to ask yourself, okay, what's keeping me from being generous? If there's an opportunity to be generous with your material belongings, generous with your help, generous with your wisdom, generous with your fairness, generous with your forgiveness, okay, take the opportunity. Use the Dharma, the standard here, to make sure that you're upright in all of your acts and all of your thoughts. So you can catch yourself if you begin to lean in one direction or another. So it's in this way that practicing the Dharma protects you, because you have a standard against which you can make sure that your thoughts and words and deeds are in line with your interest in true happiness, your desire for true happiness. So whatever you're doing, whether it's in the monastery or away, home, away from the monastery, ask yourself, what kind of dharma am I practicing here? Is it the dharma of the Buddha or the dharma of somebody who's leaning over to the left, leaning over to the right? It's only when the mind stands tall and is upright, that's when it can see furthest and that's when it can see things most fairly. So try to develop these qualities in mind and measure your mind against the principles of the dharma and if it's leaning in one way or another, trying to bring it back into alignment. That's how you maintain your balance as you go through life.